Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So, uh, if you're new here, my name is Jen. My channel is all about girly stuff, shopping uh, for fashion, um, handbags, accessories, um, jewelry, makeup, skincare, you know, uh, you know, those kind of stuff. So, if you're interested in that, please do stick around. Love for you to subscribe to my channel. And uh, welcome back if you're my subscriber, if you've watched me before. So for today, I'm like super, like I don't know where to begin. Like I'm just super, super excited. It is really, really was a really, really a big surprise. Like my Hermes essay is just so good at surprising me like in the best way. And so today is a milestone unboxing for this channel for me as a handbag lover. So I think you guys can guess. From the huge huge paper bag so i do have two things today i also have some special shoes that my essay um, reserved for me but let's go to the star of today's video guys so um i'm just so so happy that you know i got this from the store i am someone who would refuse to pay resellers just because um you know i don't want to spend so much money on resellers premium so i'd rather get the break-in from the store so you're right i did get a break-in my very very first one i have two twilly boxes here so i bought two twillies for the handles and my essay already um tied them for me because i'm just like not great at that so guys i can't wait guys i can't believe like i got this like last yesterday like evening and i was out with some friends so uh, by the time i came home it was pretty late so I didn't want to do unboxing at night because I want to show you guys like how the shade really looks in natural lighting and today I'm wearing my Dior cardigan just for this video I still haven't worn my ready to wear stuff from Hermes and um, Dior uh, outside so this is the Hermes receipt and I did spend a pretty penny yesterday but you know it is an investment and I've wanted it for the longest longest time so and my essay delivered i mean she's just great and um yeah guys i would really recommend that you get it from the store instead of paying resellers if you know you're patient and you work you're working with a good essay so here it is guys let's get straight into the unboxing oh my gosh see this is like super super unexpected When I saw it, I was speechless. Like, like when she took me into the room, I was like, oh, oh wow, what the surprise. Because I literally just wanted to stop by to say hi to her and see what accessories I could get. And she delivered. Gosh, guys. The dust bag. Um, this is the care booklet. This is the rain coat, which I will keep in the bag, actually, because it does rain unexpectedly sometimes in um, Malaysia, where I live. Here it is, guys. Oh my gosh, guys. I got a Birkin 25 in Cellier. Cellier mean, means that the stitches are outside, not return. Uh, return. Usually, that's uh, you know, the usual Birkins are where it is uh, stitched inside, so that's slouchier. So my version is the cellier and it is much more structured um, exactly how I like my bags and it is in gold hardware um, the hardware is all coated in yellow gold 18k yellow gold so it doesn't fade and it has four feet and it just arrived from Paris like this week and I just could not believe it let's look at the back closely so um the leather for this cellier is not Epsom. If you look at the grain, it is really, really much finer than Epsom. It is uh, the Madame leather or Madame leather. So if I compare it to my orange, which is in the um, Epsom leather, you can see the, the Epsom has uh, rougher grains and larger grains, whereas this is a little bit more ladylike. That's why it's called Madame. Um, and let me remove the felt and gosh guys this is my very very first break-in i still cannot believe that i got it and especially in the size 
that I really want which is Birkin 25 because this obviously as you can guess is not a workhorse bag guys this is like a very very ladylike Birkin and because the uh, retune ones are usually uh, slouchier so those can like be kind of ca more casual but as you can see this is so structured so it is a little bit more formal and the size itself it is quite small so it is more of a going to lunch you know i'm not prob i'm probably not going to use it at the office maybe just once in the very very like once in the blue moon maybe when i feel like it but usually i think i'm going to use this like when i go out i'll show you how it looks afterwards on me and i think it can go well with some like a slightly more casual stuff like what i'm wearing now just a cardigan just a top and a skirt so i'm gonna put on the clochette so uh, my essay recommended to me how to uh, wear the basically how the bag can wear the clochette so i'll show it to you guys um this is obviously the padlock it has a sticker i think on it um yep so i'll just remove stuff to the hardware and this is my very very first Birkin. i would never um sell it i can see myself using this bag like uh for a very very long time until i'm old so first you unlock the uh, padlock with the keys so never uh, my essay told me try not to lose the keys and then so i wind it around the handle like that and she told me to um i'm sorry yeah. oh, oh. Is it like that? No. oh no guys i'm like i totally kind of i kind of forgot is it like that okay let me try so then you lock it into place uh-huh and this is how uh, I'm planning. I'm planning to wear the have the crochet hang on my back. So I know you can like uh, put the padlock anywhere else you like, but this is what she recommended. So I'll give this a try for a while. So this bag is lined in a goat skin, the Mysore goat skin, um, and it has a zipper pocket here and a um, you know just a pocket like this here. I'm probably going to get an organizer and a back pillow as well so the zipper pocket is quite tight as you can see I don't think I'll use it for much so now guys let's see what fits in this um, set let's see what fits in the B25 especially because this is cellular so it will be stiffer and more structured so you know probably it would not um, have it would not fit that much compared to the slouchier uh, versions even though even if it's exactly like b25 so however i was happy to know that it would fit a full size wallet this is my bulgari one happens to be green so i'll have my hand cream from um, joe malone and then i have a cup of water from my flight yesterday okay let's put in a mask and then i have my uh, favorite lip visor this one the lip balm let's say a scrunchy let's put in a um, lipstick and then i have my single use mouthwash plus a uh, perfume this is also from joe malone sample so fit everything nicely into a little bag which happens to be green as well um, and then of course we like to have a um, cushion compact and uh, you know wet tissue just in case plus I always always have a um, I always always have a Chanel soft cloth so I showed my Hermes SA this soft cloth and she says that it's great to keep in the Birkin and she says unfortunately Hermes doesn't provide that so I'll keep it here just in case you know you can just wipe it off uh, gently uh, whenever you feel like it and yesterday there was that's a mini horror story guys so yesterday i was using my garden party 30 on the flight and then um the air steward actually accidentally spilled some orange juice onto my garden party while he was passing it to the passenger next and luckily i could clean it off with some like wet tissue so it's always great to have wet tissue and a soft cloth in your bags so guys oh my gosh i still cannot believe it that i got this one so i mean like <laughs> Gosh, I started my journey at Hermes, I think, last September. 
um, <clears throat> when I first ordered the H Hour watch. And you know, I just love working with my essay. She's so sweet, and you know, I just love the stuff at Hermes. Like even if I were not to, if I didn't plan to get a Birkin, I would still buy like the shoes, the accessories, especially the double tour stuff because I just love um the Hermes aesthetic a lot. It's very different from Chanel, as you know, but you know, both have their pros, and uh, both both have their like you know, pull factors. So let me remove the sticker because we do not want. The stickers are stuck on the reading and it seems like as if the um some people who live live in asia who have like obviously a lot of uh hermes bags they were saying that they think the cellier would fare better in um our humid weather uh and you know because apparently the togo ones would slouch a bit quicker because of the weather i, I am not sure at all because uh, this is my very first break-in i do not own any togo uh bags right now so um so anyway, I'm just super happy I got this and just for information, the Cellier is a bit more expensive than the Togo ones. Um, this design I think came out in 2020 so it's relatively new as in the stitches outside. If you look at the workmanship, it is just excellent. The leather, you know, is much much nicer than the Prada Sapphire you know, leather. I mean, I'm not sure why I'm even comparing it but, you know, because it's also stiff leather. and. Yeah guys, this is just so beautiful. It just came from Paris this week, earlier this week. It's Sunday today. So I'm trying to remove the stickers from the feet. My essay is just so sweet. sweet. She's just so good at giving me surprises. I was like, I totally didn't expect to be able to get this so, I mean like this week. Um. So, okay, let me give you some tips, right? I'm sure some of you might have questions on how I managed to score this Birkin 25 Cellier from the store. One is, you know, I do genuinely love Hermes stuff. So I did find a good essay who was, you know, working with me and helping me to see what I like, helping me to get what I like. So I've bought like ready to wear, um, jewelry, like fine jewelry plus silver jewelry plus accessories, some shoes. Uh, what else did I buy? I bought perfume. Um, yeah, I think that's about it. I have like a lot of I mean like four pairs of Hermes shoes now including the latest one and I love my ring uh, from Hermes this is in rose gold of course oh yeah I bought a watch which I wear all the time it's super useful and goes with a lot of stuff <sighs> you guys can you believe that I got my Birkin so you can also tuck the like straps like that but I think it looks a bit weird so I'll just like leave it open but I don't plan to use this bag uh, for a while. I'm not sure where I'm going to go with this beauty, but it's definitely not a uh, workhorse bag. It's definitely not a like, you know, um, bag for daily use, I would say. And I love the color. It's like an accent color. Um, I would go for neutral for my second Koda bag, but for this one, I really, really am loving green recently. It's so soothing, yet so bright and so vibrant. So now, guys, I will... Um, just quickly unbox the shoes that I got then I'll show you how the Birkin looks on me guys so I got another pair of shoes as I mentioned and, and these are orange but a little bit more special so I got the um two-tone ones guys so this is the one with the canvas and the leather trim so I think these will actually you know wear better than the leather ones because of the creases okay so fine my red and brune I've only worn this like twice so you can't really see any creases but my white ones which are actually downstairs I wear them like almost all the time every weekend so those ones are really really like worn but obviously I can still wear them um, and then so yeah guys I love this pair I asked my essay for these like quite a few months ago and she finally found a pair for me in my size so I have quite big feet <laughs> I'm, I wear size 39 I love this color it's called natural so I just love love this pair so guys back to the Birkin so um, my essay told me like when I'm like keeping it because she knows that I like to display my stuff so I've already cleared a space there for the Birkin 25 I would um put keep this felt uh, this piece of felt and I would like put it uh, onto where basically this area to protect the hardware from scratching against each other and the padlock right I think it works like that because I'm not gonna be running with my Birkin I don't think so 
I think the padlock won't really scratch the leather surface because it will be sitting nicely on this uh, clochette. So guys, getting it from the store is like, uh, was a journey, but you know, this journey is just going to continue. It's not going to end because of the first, my first break-in, right? So, you know, you must genuinely love the brand, I feel, and you know, don't uh, just buy it because other people have it. So it took me many years before I really decided that I wanted one, even though I've always been like a handbag lover. So I finally decided to get something, uh, get a break-in this year, and I'm so glad I managed to uh, relatively uh, quickly. And, um, yeah, so basically I gave my essay a whole list of shades. I gave her like 8 to 10 shades because I'm pretty open. I, I have particular color groups that I like, but I'm not like very, very stuck on a particular hardware, particular um, leather or particular shade. So I, re I just gave her a whole list and she found me something in my list. And I didn't ask for Salier, but uh, she offered me this one. So I just took it because it is so beautiful as well. And you know, I'm not like, I, I don't like slouchy bags that much anyway. So I'm just pretty open, very, a pretty open person in general, especially uh, for my first Birkin, I didn't want to be too fussy. And I'm really, really grateful that she managed to get it for me. Another tip, I guess, is to be nice to your essay. You know, I mean, you should be nice to everyone, but you know, you know, hear so many horror stories about like customers like complaining on social media about how fussy the essays are or how they got bad service, etc. But I think this is always mutual. So like if you treat someone nice, most of the time they're gonna treat you nicely as well. So like don't be too hung up on, you know, the service and it's not because of what you wear. I just wear a sweatshirt a sweatshirt dress sometimes when I go to Hermes or, or any luxury stores. You know, they're all just people, you know, it's their job. So I think we should all be polite and courteous no matter who we are talking to and so yeah be nice i think that's the general motto that works everywhere and so that's my little tip guys be patient and also be nice and also be humble and you know don't always jump to conclusions and start complaining on social media so because i do not want to go to resellers i want to continue my journey at hermes and um, there's so many things that um you know i can get and i think i'm going to like kind of uh, not to say avoid but not to say neglect either but probably not really buy much at other brands for a while even though i did get something from tiffany and i'll unbox that later so guys this is how it looks uh the handle drop is obviously very short so um you can't really fit it on the crook of your arm but uh you can at least put it you know you can put it at your wrist like this you know um in when when you really need to but i probably will be uh, carrying it like hand carrying this bag it's just so pretty guys I think it goes very well with what I'm wearing today kind of like neutral-ish also I'll change into like a sweat shirt dress afterwards to show you how it looks casual so I think this is pretty um, a more formal looking bag so yeah love it I would just I couldn't believe that I could like wait until today to unbox. So I love the dual cardigan guys by the way, I think it's very classic looking. Okay, let's change. Okay guys, let's say if I wanted to like wear this to work. Uh, I'm just wearing a dress with a blazer. I think it looks really nice as well. What do you think? Maybe I should choose a, I would pick like a white dress or a grey one but um, I kind of, was kind of in a rush, I really wanted to do this unboxing So this is how it would look Very ladylike right guys, very pretty And now I'll change into the really into sweatshirt dresses just because they are so comfortable So this is how it would look, I mean I think it's not the perfect match but I think it is still okay I mean especially if this sweatshirt would be like grey or black or white Oh and a quick one, I actually brought my iPad I mean took my iPad out and I think it's quite obvious that it wouldn't fit especially with my bulky holder so I'm not gonna squeeze it inside because I don't intend to carry my iPad in my Birkin 25 anyway So guys I hope you enjoyed my first Birkin 25 unboxing in Cellier in Ver Verone and uh, which is in the view madame leather lined in mysore goat leather and with yellow gold hardware with gold hardware so 
uh, do leave me a comment ask me any questions if you have any and also i'll just say hi i'd love to hear from you guys and also yeah my lo lovely two-tone orange sandals that i just got as well uh, the two twillies that i got to match this bag and um i'll probably get a rodeo um temporarily put him on uh the rose sakura one and a framboise one on my uh Birkin 25 what do you think i think it's a little bit large i think i kind of like the look of the bag without the uh, pegasus of accessories and there are, there's a lot of hardware already as you can see this clochette i have two twillies so i think it'll be a bit busy with a large pegasus so i'll see what other charm could uh suit this bag but i, I like it the way it is it's very ladylike just love it and uh, i'll probably just carry it like that you don't need to like have the flat um basically fasten the flap when you carry it so that's easier and it's quite tight so um i don't and when you hold it it's going to be like this so don't think anything out will really drop out per se so thanks for watching guys i'm just like super happy that i got this i'm kind of speechless like it's a bit unreal so i'm just going to admire my break in 25 for a while before i use it or oh, just um just for your information it does say it does say Hermes Paris made in France and the date code for this bag is um, Z so it means that it uh, was made this year oh my gosh I mean like the craftsmanship is just beautiful I really want to thank whoever the, the craftsperson uh, the artist who made this bag for me it is just beautiful thank you so much whoever you are um, in a workshop in Paris it's, I mean in France I don't, I'm not sure where but it's just beautiful thanks for watching guys i'm super happy my milestone unboxing i hope you enjoyed this unboxing as well um and do let me know if you have questions and i hope you have a wonderful beautiful day meanwhile i have a lot of clutter to clear up like you know just for this video and stuff and watch out for my tiffany un unboxing and i'm also going to do a review on this bag later on uh, and a vlog when i go out with my friend who's getting hers as well it's going to be super fun for us Okay then guys, um, see you really really soon, have a beautiful day and bye!